All we really need to know before starting is that there are two types of flash file that we're likely to come across when we're building websites. And these are both in my assets folder here. We have the .swf file and the .flv file. Now these .flv files are specifically flash video files, like you see on YouTube and MySpace and other video sites. And then pretty much all other flash files are going to be .swf. And it's this .swf that we want to add into our SuperJam index page. And I've left this space here in order to do that. So let's make sure that our cursor is clipped and we've got our cursor flashing inside this table cell. And then what we want to do is to come up to the common tab on the insert bar and just pull down the flash menu. And it's the very first option, flash, that we want to be selecting. And that brings us into our site root folder. And I'm just inside my assets folder here. And it's the flash logo, which is the .swf that I want to be adding in. So we say OK here. And we get this dialog box pop up. And this is pretty much the same as the alt text for images. What we're doing is we're adding accessibility for visually impaired users so that they'll know what this animation is doing. And so essentially, all we'll say is logo animation. And that should be fairly self explanatory. And then we say OK. And we can see that Dreamweaver has now automatically inserted that into my page. Now, if you find when Dreamweaver inserts an object that it breaks up your tables a little bit like this, all it is is it's uncollapsed the table. So we'll just click into one of the other table cells. And then if we can find the little line between them, just click on that and you'll see that Dreamweaver recollapses all of the cells. So let's click on this flash object now and look down at the property inspector. We can see here that Dreamweaver's already put the width and the height attributes in for us. So that means that Dreamweaver is able to auto detect the dimensions for a .swf file. And we've also got a couple of options down here. We've got autoplay and loop, and they're fairly self-explanatory. If we check the autoplay box, then it means that the swf file will play as soon as the browser opens. And if we choose to check the loop box, that means that the SWF file will constantly repeat itself every time it finishes playing. Now, it is possible to preview this SWF file inside Dreamweaver, but we need to use this play button down here. And what we can see is the SWF file plays through. Now, if I just stop that, we'll see it goes back to the placeholder for the flash. And I prefer to always view this in a browser just to make sure that everything's lining up properly. So let's preview that in Firefox. And we can see that that plays straight away because we have autoplay selected. And it seems to be playing fine. So let's jump back over into Dreamweaver. Now, if you want to insert a flash movie, or the FLV file, and the process is slightly different, but it's still very easy. So I'm just going to pull up a new blank page that I've created here. There's absolutely nothing in here. It's just in order to show you how to put this FLV file in. It's a different size to the SWF file, so it's not going to fit inside the area that I've left here. So I'm just going to stick it in a new blank page for you. And because this time we're putting an FLV file, a flash video file, when we come up to the common tab, instead of selecting flash, we need to select flash video. And that brings up our inserting flash video dialog box. And the first option here is video type. We get a choice between streaming it straight from the web or a progressive download video, which means that it will default download onto the user's computer and then play the flash file from there. And that way you're not going to get skipping or pauses if there's a lot of traffic on their network or on your website. So I always go for progressive download video. Then we browse for the location of our flash movie, which is in our assets folder, flash movie. And then we get a choice of skin. Now, all this is, is a preset bunch of players with different looks that enables us to play, pause, stop, and to adjust the audio of this FLV file when it's playing in the browser window. And as default, Dreamweaver gives you a choice between a clear skin, a Corona skin, and a Halo skin. And these are fairly standard uh, control bars. Uh, the only thing I will point out that we've got one, two, and three versions of each of the skins, and that's got a minimum width. So basically what we're saying here is if your movie is 161 wide, you wouldn't be able to use clear skin one, which you can see is a very narrow control bar, two, much wider, and three, wider still. 
Now, it's quite a wide movie here, so I'm going to go for the clear skin. Uh, I'm going to go for the third option there. But I can't actually remember exactly what the width and the height of my movie is. So Dreammover's got this great little function here where we can detect the size. And by clicking that, we get the width of 448 and the height of 337. Now, the thing is that I know that the height of my file isn't 337. But what's happened is Dreamweaver has actually added an additional bit of space onto the bounding box to give us a total size, including this player skin that will be shown at the bottom. And then we can decide whether we want this to automatically play when we open the browser window. And more importantly, there's an option down here at the bottom where we can prompt users to download the Flash player if they haven't got it installed. And we can also create our own personalized message that we can type in here that we want those non-Flash users to see. So let's hit OK and let's insert this into our page. So we've got our Flash placeholder inserted into our blank document here. And unfortunately, we don't have a play button with the .flv files. There's no way of previewing these inside of Dreamweaver. We can only preview these in a browser. But before I go over to a browser, just draw your attention over here into the files panel. And you'll see that we've got two new files. If yours don't appear here, just hit the refresh button and they'll pop up. And what we've got is two .swf files. So these are also flash files, but they're not an FLV file, they're an SWF file. And the reason for this is that most browsers can't play a .flv file. They require some kind of interface. So what we've created by using ClearSkin 3 as our shuttle bar, essentially our control bar, is to create an SWF file of that. And also, Dreamweaver's created an FLV player. So it will be able to play the FLV through the SWF extension inside the browser window. Now, it might sound complicated, but it's a lot easier getting Dreamweaver to write this for you than trying to write it yourself. So what we can do now is we can preview this in a browser window. And then we can see our Flash FLV movie playing fine. And this is our control bar that we've added on the bottom. And we can pause the movie, play it again. We can also shuttle backwards and forwards in the movie. And we also have the option to increase and decrease the volume. But obviously, there's no sound on this movie. So um, that's not going to have any effect here. But as we can see, the FLV is playing fine. Our Flash movie is playing great. And that's all there is to adding Flash content to your site. So let's move on in the next tutorial to adding sound and other types of movies.